Welcome to a new stove talk with me and the dogs. And you're sitting there getting quite excited because it's a new stove, isn't it, Strider? I'm not throwing a stick for you, no. We're going to be throwing oh, sorry, using a stove, a red stove, from packerthefeather.com called the Feather Fire. And, well, let me get the stove out and we'll show you. On the website, they claim this Feather Fire stove weighs 51 grams. And I have it weighing at 45.2. Not bad, nearly six grams under. Let's look at the Feather Fire stove up close. Right, comes with the snuffer here, which is used for putting the flame out. Um, there's a little procedure for doing that, which involves closing down the air vents so that you can't, don't get any air coming in. And then you put the snuffer on and it burns itself out. And you can save fuel that way by only using the fuel that you need to make your brew or cook your food. So here we have it. You have this cable that folds in here which opens up this band going around the outside which allows you to control the flame. You can just about see there around the top of the band the holes that are used for letting air in. Let's... Right. And here we have the legs and the pot support. Quite clever. Down and up, and they're locked into place. So down and up, down and up, and that's it. You've got your actual stove support then at the bottom, like that, and you've got your pot support at the top there. Okay. So let's open that up and we'll boil some water. Right, let's put throw down some fuel in then. Turn it down a little as we can. Wait for that to catch up. Okay. While we're waiting for the water to boil, let's go through some of the points um, that they raise on the site about the stove and, and its use. The stove itself is designed to hold two fluid ounces of fuel. When in use, they recommend use as much fuel as you want up to that limit to cook your food and then afterwards pour what's left back into your fuel canister which is brings me on to the point of getting the fuel back into your fuel canister they do sell on the site a customized bottle that has a little kind of pump on it to allow you to extract the fuel from the stove um, they also on the site recommend using a heat reflector, which you can make yourself or buy from them. Um, I wouldn't use this stove with a pot smaller than the Snow Peak 900, or we're looking at the Etta pot, which is a similar size. Uh, I've used it with a tea light. It just about fits on the supports there, but it's a bit unstable and it will, any slightest touch will tip over. So I'm using with the Snow Peak 1400 here. 900 I'd say is the smallest I'd go with this stove. Also, 
protect you need to protect the band and the workings on it so it's not one you can just throw in your bag it's not like the bios that can be knocked around or the gnome and just put in your pack and not be worried that it's going to break this one you need to store carefully either in the pot that you're using or I don't know, use some bubble wrap or something just to give it a bit of protection There's also some bits of troops on exercise today and I think they're a parachute regiment because that's what's set inside the truck. Alright, that's a rolling boil. Handles okay to use as well. Right, as you can see there's still a fair amount of fuel in there bubbling away, the flames coming out so it's quite fuel economic there. Um, hard to judge how much is left in there, maybe half. Um, and this is where you close the band up so there's no air getting out and use the snuffer. So let me set that up and we'll do that. Just and then we there we have it. There we have it. Coffee bottoms up. What it's all about. <laughs>